Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are finally back with more Hunter x Hunter. First Hunter x Hunter reaction in 2024 and I can't wait. I honestly did not expect after those final stretch of Chimera and Ark episodes with Gon transforming, with, with battle with, between Meruem and Netero, Gon against Tito, uh, Komugi and Meruem and after that they still generally surprise me with these episodes with Aluka, with the election, with the Zodiacs, with Jing himself. Jing! Gon's goal from the very first episode, we saw him in some scenes from flashbacks, right? We heard him on the radio through Greed Island recordings, we kinda had an idea what kind of person he is, right? And But seeing him like interact with other people in real time is so entertaining because he's so damn smart, man. I really, I'm really intrigued. I kinda like Jinx's character, man. It is pretty bad that he left his child alone, man, but we still don't know everything about him so we need to have that the conversation between two of them or to, to find out if there is some sort of bigger reason behind it i'm very very intrigued by his character and the way he was speaking back to the uh, pariston dude the red dude right he was saying uh, oh my son you can go visit him in the hospital if you want right he is not going to die man. bro and the way he said that with full confidence, the way he predicted that there would be the kind of dispute, the voting. I mean, it's a given. It's uh, 12 Zodiacs, right? 12 completely different personalities. Some are very hot-blooded, some are very chill, some are, some are very smart, right? And I guess they all represent their own sign, right? Jing is a bore, right? So I'm not familiar right uh, with astrology and that stuff especially not the chinese zodiacs which i believe that they're using if i'm not mistaken maybe i'm wrong i'm not sure but i'm pretty sure that chinese like horoscope is using uh, those animals unlike like uh, the standard one that we use in i guess my country and europe like the uh, pixies areas uh, uh, you know, you already know. Uh, what was I about to say? Yeah, we uh, had the election because obviously we need a new chairman. And Pariston was a vice president. Vice chairman, I'm sorry. And Netero picked him because for fun he wanted someone that he can stand, man. That's some classic Netero shit though. He always liked to play games and to have these challenges and even this is treated like a mission right and <coughs> Jing interpreted that as Netero's will and he wants to uh, pay respects to Netero right by doing the things in this way right and as a hunter you are successful if you are making your target move according to your rules right I really like that line from Jing uh, before that we had the beautiful, uh, <laughs> a little bit odd but super wholesome scene with Reina as a chimera and returning to her mother and Bravada getting accepted by the villagers. And you guys told me that Bravada is most likely uh, indeed the part of NGL army that he was a member together with. Uh, Ikalgo and Velfin, but that he doesn't have his memories, man. That was super dope. I like that they've got like closure and hey, they're, they're starting new life, man. The, the Camerans that Ikalgo spared, right? Velfin and uh, Bravada, Velfin with his fucking bold ass head and uh, Bizef and that girl, what was her name? Hina, right? They're like going uh they're going after gyro right they really rock with gyro the fact that gyro is alive 
right? And we know that he is basically wanting to destroy the world, right? That is that should that be a little bit concerning, <laughs> especially if he is like reborn with as Chimera and right? So who knows? Who knows, man? That's pretty much it, right? Oh, it's definitely not. Uh, so you guys explained to me that Taluka is actually a girl, that's the way I understood it, and because Kilua is the only one who respects her, he's calling her, referring to her as her, as she, right? And the others don't even care, they're calling it it that came from somewhere else, right? They don't care about that child at all, which is kind of fucked up, but... To some degree, I do understand them being careful and taking precautions because Aluka scared the shit out of me with her abilities, man. When she started asking for spine, for brain and that shit, bro. And that's crazy. She can grant you any wish. And Kilwa probably wants Aluka to heal Gon, right? But the crazier the wish is the requests that she makes afterwards are going to be enormous as well so that's pretty fucked up man and also you need to uh is that how it works you need to do three things that she demands and then her face is like change and then she can grant you the wish but the next requests are going to be uh on the level of that wish, I guess, so. After uh, one of the butler uh, wished for, like, to become millionaire, I think they said, like, like bunch, crazy amount of people have died, so. Yeah, man, that's that's pretty fucked up, bro. I'm so intrigued. We've been so he's okay and Illumi discussing Illumi, feeling he's okay about Chimera ends. He's totally oblivious about what happened. It was it was uh, good to see that weirdo again, man, because Hisoka is a dope character, a dope villain, right, even though he is doing <laughs> sometimes pretty, pretty sassy and kind of disgusting things, but also at the same time, I couldn't help it but laugh, man, because it's, it's so fucking degenerate, man, it's so sick, but the way he's doing all of that, man, I don't know. He's certainly interesting character to follow, man. <laughs> and Illumi is Illumi is fucking weird, man. Illumi was always weird to me. His expression of his face, man. I don't know. He just looks like dead inside, and his behavior is very weird, man. Uh, someone, I think it was one of uh, my Patreons. I, if I remember, it was Lanila who made the the good point. Being the eldest child in Zoldic family is probably pretty rough, man. Because he was first, he probably went through some shit, man, while they were raising him. So that's why he turned out to be a fucking psycho and lunatic, man. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm excited for next episodes, guys. So without further ado, let's start episode 139. Let's begin. Okay, everything is ready. Let's start. Also, I have uh, some family over and there is a bunch of kids. I'm sorry if you hear background sound. It is what it is. <coughs> Let me see, I missed the... Hisoka and the Lumi. They're really buddies, bro. In the beginning of the series. Yo. Is he talking about Aluka's powers? They sacrificed people only to learn more. Jesus Christ, man. 67 in the second. That's Miluki. Kill him for me. Did he? He was demanding Aluka to kill someone. Oh, that's the, the one. 
Oh yeah, so 60, 67 people died after her wish. Uh, somebody told me that there are actually some spoilers, so I will still skip the OP. Aluka and something. Alright, we are continuing with Aluka. <coughs> and this frame again. That was in the last episode. Yeah, as well. Oh, Kaluto and Aluka. He says, brothers. Why is he wearing that he's like an overgrown baby? He reminds me of that guy from the Hunter exam at the very beginning, bro. What was his name? Like Nicholas or something. Oh, Mike. There is another one like him. Oh boy. It's one of those poisonous shrooms, probably. But it's a request. Yo, Miluki, so disgusting. They are probably testing some shit. Oh, so he was the target. Okay. <coughs> Die. This is so fucked up. どうも二人が死ぬ場合とそれとでは犠牲者の選ばれる法則が違うんじゃないかとゾルディッケの執事は敷地内の家同じクラスだった者が全員荒縄状に根じり殺されたホーリーシットロケットゾルディッケの執事
I'm really ah. Uh, what the fuck? He really thought that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was so funny. Oh my god! You will probably die too! That's that's terrifying! Yo, look at the sweat drop! <laughs> that face! Oh, this is a big problem! Big trouble! Oh, that, but now that they explained. By the way, Kogashi is really. Really creative with these abilities, man. But so the person you love the most will die. But if the wish demands more, right? It, if it was a huge wish, the people you spend the most time with will die. And when it comes to Kirua, of course, he spent the most time with his family because for how many years? Like 12 years he was with, with them, man. So this time that he spent with... Uh, let's say gone for a pick Leorio is not enough, but <clears throat> Gon's recovery that like normal doctors can't cure is probably gonna demand also a lot of sacrifices and they were talking about thousands, man. Which if that's the case, Hisoka Elumi, they are all fucking dead, man. Like even like Bisky, right? And they would all fucking die, man. This is what Kilua is doing right now. He's taking extremely big risk, man. I'm so curious to see how will this play out, man. What the fuck? What do you mean, die, bro? Oh, <laughs> what do you sure? Wait, what happened? I'm so lost. <clears throat>。Want you to dispose of Aluka? Kilo is not dead. Come on, what the fuck is this shit? But why does Aluka make requests in the first place, bro? The face that Kilua made after he heard what she said. Mm -hmm. We have to go again. Oh, this guy. <laughs> He's always so shiny. We need 95%. And Jing is not here, by the way. Or oh, even more hunters, perhaps. Oh, this guy is a hothead. They will take their license. As a punishment. Oh, she, she was using birds, right, to deliver the letters. She, she looks pretty dope. I love all the designs, man. I look at the rat. あれ <laughs> He's playing around. Speech before all of the hunters. And he's pretty good at talking. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I hate your guts, man. But yeah, she's right, man. Come on, Kelua. Did he... Yeah, he definitely tucked his head inside this. <laughs> Bro! Rules that the rest of the family don't know about. Oh, oh that's, that's gonna be something... 
very very important i feel like what the fuck? Okay, I can see that brother, which means that it's real Aluka, right? And maybe the requests are not important? If it's Aluka demanding it, just Aluka being Aluka without using any powers. Oh, the mom. Oh, that's right, he wished for computer, man. What the fuck, Silva? Oh, that's right, he wished for computer, man. Five rules. Oh, nice, we're going to create. The first difficulty is reset, that makes sense. Oh, wow, so that she can't request from them. Interesting. おねだりされている誰かが途中で死ぬと、おねだりは失敗とみなされて、最低でももう一人死ぬ。At その尻拭いは他の誰かを助けてから考えればいい構成を犠牲にして助けられたように。Oh, definitely no. Hell no. And Kilua is pretty aware of that as well. Since he's stupid, I fucking hate the way Miluki speaks, man. だからイルニーに針で強制させてたんでしょ。Manipulative fuckers. That needle is long gone. Eat shit. <coughs> I have no clue what to expect whatsoever. Open the door. <laughs> He's going in outside with her. They won't like that. He expected this. So Kilwa knows more, bro. How? I'm definitely your son. Cunning like him, right? With those eyes. I'll clean up my own mess. He probably has some idea with those secret rules. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's so wild. Unless they want her dead, bro. Wait, what did he say? He left the mountain in half an hour. I wanted to kiss me in the cheek. Whoa! It's gonna be that face. <laughs> it's so creepy. But he's... He's giving it... Condition. A choice, right? Depending on what happens. Those requests earlier on were still... Connected to power. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> of course not she likes that, bro. Freaking psychos. Uh, classic Zoldic, man. Open the door. <laughs> Let's go kill one. <coughs> He's going to do it. A great character kill one is, man. The growth, man. Oh my god. He was always so intriguing, man. But seeing him like Killua from Hunter X and Killua right now, man. It's so damn good. Skill at breaking, but not skilled at fixing. The very good is that light. But she fixed the bird, right? She healed it. <laughs> she 
is so adorable. But that power is scary as shit, man. Oh, she's gonna kiss him, man. <laughs> what a great idea by Kilo, man. Yo, look at this shot, bro. I love this. Let's go, bro. Kilo the goat, man. Yo, the powers, the power of Aluka is insane. So we got to learn more about it and about how people you love, the person you love the most will die, right? If you uh, fail to do the requests, right? Or if you deny it, I guess. And depending on the previous wish, the people you spend the most time with would die. So Biski, Zushi, Wing, Tsegera, all of the characters that we met throughout the series would potentially fucking die. Imagine that, man. Imagine that there is that possibility that all the fucking characters we hanged out with from episode 1, their lives are in danger and they don't even know it, man. Aluka's power is definitely the most terrifying power in this series so far, in my opinion. I don't know, that's crazy, but the fact that she's so sweet and cute, man. So Kilwa can use the rules like conditioning. He gives multiple choices, right? He says, if we don't leave the mountain, kill my mother. If we don't leave the mountain in half an hour. But if we leave, then kiss me on the cheek, man. <coughs> that's insane. And she kissed him on the cheek, man. That was so cute. They had no choice but to let them go, man, since Kilua knew about this rule that they didn't, man. I love this. I freaking love this. But still, when uh, Aluka, let's say that Aluka heals gone, right? And the next requests of hers are going to be wild. I'm curious to see how will Kilwa deal with that, man. That's the scary part, man. Because it's clear that he doesn't want to sacrifice someone else, right? He wants to clean up this mess by himself, as he stated. So let's continue, guys. But she did fix, heal the, the bird, right? It would be too busted, right? If she can just, like, heal someone from miles away. So cute. And her, her headband, man, with that, like, smiley face and sad face, it reminds me of Ace's head from One Piece. Join battle and open battle. Okay. I don't know what kind of battles should we expect now, but... <coughs> Hospital. Oh. Oh my god. Look at the blood. And is that aura? Does he still have some faint aura from the transformation? Definitely. But he's he's not able to use Nen anymore, man. Oh my god, this is so rough. There's no way I can remove this. Is she like some sort of shaman or something? The boys! Memorial and Knuckle. Oh, I don't know what to do. 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 Uh, Tezegera and Dune and List, right? Ah, that's so nice. They're all trying to wake him up, man. Oh, was that woman an exorcist? <laughs> I can guarantee Gwon will be killed. Isn't this risky as using an exorcist? 
Right, right, because somebody cut the line. Wait. Wait. Oh shit, but he gets from his position. Alert level 4. He was listening the whole time. Almost like I pissed off my father. Yeah. Jesus. There is even level 5. Bro, you can't leave it on level 5. And he's already on level fucking 4. <laughs> I mean, he kinda did. That, but yeah, that part was fucked up. Oh my god, bro. So ターゲットはあるか様の半径<笑> I'm so glad that we see Kanavi again. And because... Because... <laughs> him here? Butlers? Bro, so Bone. She is huge, bro. Is she related to Bisky by any chance? Even Kilwa is sweating. Even Kilwa is like this. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Look him out. Why do I believe every single word she's saying, bro? Even Gota, look at him. <laughs> she's probably strong as fuck, man. <laughs> yeah, I noticed she said Chan. <laughs> no bullying, brother, bro. She's such a sweet card. <laughs> That's kind of fact. He was always beefing with this as well. <laughs> Oh, I love this man. <laughs> Look at Canary looking at Kilwa. She's also so precious, man. Look at her eyes. She's a dog, man. Amane, ooh, she seems kind of hard to deal with. They don't even know each other. Just out of the blue, she randomly requests a fucking nail. It's better than fucking spine. And she, she's gonna do it. Don't show it. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so messed up. That's right. She can't request from anyone else. We learned that in last episode. Smart. Alright. <laughs> That's fine. <coughs> okay, so now Aluka can't request from anyone else, right? In order for us to 
help go on. We have to ask Subane for two more requests, right? Oh, they're they're riding the limo. <laughs> He's confirming. You should state your name first. It's my boy! Bro, I'm so fucking happy to see Leorio. Let's go! Finally, man! I was thinking because I know that somebody mentioned like earlier in the series that Hunter x Hunter has like four main characters. It's not only Gon and Gon and Killua. We have Gon, Killua, Epic and Leorio. And I was saying recently, what the fuck? Why is Leorio considered because we barely saw the guy? I'm so happy, man, that he's here again. Because I really love Leorio, man. He's such a nice guy, bro. A big goofball, but very nice guy, bro. <coughs> Let's fucking go. Classic Leorio. And there is Melody looking for yeah, he should know that. Yep. Okay, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna realize he pissed off God. <laughs> I can say anything specific, yeah, we don't want to trigger level five. It's <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Because I can make it possible. <laughs> I love this to interacting. And poor Melody is like, what the fuck are these guys doing? Bro. Oh, that's wild, bro. Yeah, Oliver is getting pissed. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> And he's gonna give him the phone. <laughs> of course. Yep. Just like that. Oh, that makes more sense. Is that going to be good enough? It is good enough for Goto. Satisfies our requirements. Oh, he likes moral, definitely. <laughs> oh, poor Leorio, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's very emotional, man. It is what it is. No. So many goats, man. Making no stability, man. To do this. Beyond hell. And of course, you want to believe Kilwa, bro. He's best friend. Facts. Nice. That conversation was enough for Laria to realize that Morel is also a fantastic guy. Oh, I need to have a word with. Okay. <coughs> bro. Urapika is gonna show up as well. I already have a feeling. He's calling him, right? <laughs> I knew it, man. Bro. What is Urapika up to, bro? He's in a suit. But his eyes... It's like his eyes are scarlet. 
Man, feels so good, bro, to watch this show. Oh, it's Pariston. So they're really going with his idea to speak in front of all the hunters. Yeah, vote no matter what, eh? They need that 95%. Oh, Chink is there! Chink is there! <laughs> I can get over the fucking horse, dude. Wow! Calling him out in front of every time, everyone. <laughs> Might as well vote for him. Damn! He's roasting the shit out of Jing, bro. They are having none of it, though. This guy. Look at Jing. Oh, <laughs> Leorio! <coughs> bro, Leorio is so close to Gons. Father, right now. Oh, what the fuck, bro? Ooh, yo, Lario will give him hell, man. Oh, look at all of them. <laughs> Wait, what? That's all. He knows. Dude. There is the gold. What the fuck, Jing, bro? Come on. That's kind of fucked up, man. Yeah, like, how is he supposed to say that, man? What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck? He has Nen! But did he learn Nen, bro? <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he fucking punched the Jing, bro! <laughs> what is happening, dude? Bro. That was so fucking unreal! That's awesome! Jink is knocked the fuck out, man! By Leoria! In front of all of the Panthers, man! <laughs> what the fuck is going on, bro? But what did he do, guys? He teleported his fist! That's a broken ability! And it looks like his arm can extend or some shit! I'm so fucking glad, bro! That Leorio learned Nen and that's one hell of our ability, bro! The deal with Jing, look at this! It looks like he was looking at that shit. But he had no reaction, he just puts fucking uppercut in his jaw. You can go to hell. But Lero is the goat, I missed him so much, man. These episodes are so fucking wild. Who would have thought, man? <laughs> I like that's the first thing she says. You'll find footage of today's entire meeting. <laughs> Look at her! She's so excited! She loves this shit, man! She loves this shit, man! Leorio using a fucking badass ability to knock Jing the fuck out is something I would never fucking see coming. Magician and the butler. Holy cow, this is so good, man! The new suits. Ninety-seven percent. He did it. Oh, 
What the fuck? There was no V. There were you. Is it because of the patch? That, <laughs> that gave him the popularity. Just get at the green so there is more voting bro leorio came in third it, <coughs> all because of that probably oh he's a triple star hunter the brains of the zodiacs that, she does seem very smart man kinda like her <laughs> I can't believe that he's number three, bro, in front of a bunch of Zodiacs. Nana. Yes, I Nana. Double Star Crime Hunter. <coughs> oh, okay. What the fuck? Single Star Hacker? <laughs> he's living in a digital world. Too boring, too boring, too politician like. Morel! He's Sea Hunter. He deserves it after that mission, man. He deserves it. Oh, look at this guy. Okay. Biski! Let's go! <laughs> Gemstone Hunter. The association's mother figure. <laughs> Sorry, older sister. <laughs> okay. Association's doctor. No one to vote for her. Gourmet hunters! Oh, we didn't see those since. Buhara and Machi. Not Machi, what was her name? Lost Hunter! Okay. <laughs> Cutie Beauty! What the fuck? No, thank you. There's Jing, he's number 16. Vagabond of the Zodiacs. <laughs> Pity votes. I love this shit, man. Oh my god. These episodes are like stacked with. Something is constantly going on. There is the video. <laughs> he sing this shit. Oh, okay. Looks like he's an emitter. <laughs> <laughs> Standing ovation, yeah, they, they, the crowd loved it. Oof, here we go. Ilumi will try his best to stop Hiloa because he's afraid that he and all the Zoltics would die because of Hiloa making the wish. Okay, now we are starting to run into problems, and I see now why Kilwa said that it's gonna be tough. It makes perfect sense. Bro, they literally have a correlation chart. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, it sucks that I don't have translation for this, but... Yeah. We see the hearts, man. There is heart between Kilwa and Daluka. But that's the only heart that she gets. There's a, what the fuck? Who is the bolt? Is that a kid or... I can't tell, bro, but... <laughs> Maybe a butler or something? Uh, we have Kaluto, okay. Yeah, it's no point because I, I don't know what it actually says. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Subone and Amane are Illumi's most trusted butlers. Oh, okay, I see now. Before Kilwa. Exactly. So it's two against two. Fucking Gilomi always controlling, man. Yo, look at her, bro. She's ready to rip some heads off. 
Holy shit. Wait, what? あまねの反応を探ったな。おお、これ。ナイスコット。電話を受けたとしても、ことの微妙な変化に気づき、俺の気をそらすか。愛しれ。インナーミッションだ。インナーミッションエンドイツリーコンプリケイテッド。ルック
祖母も私もキルア様の敵ではございません。今の時点ではな、oh, uh, でもでもそんなのも任務には、キルア様を無事にお連れすることも含まれております。Okay. As bad as, uh, as I thought at first, but. So, Kony Aruka, my name is my cousin. Yeah, Aloka's family as well. Oh my god! <laughs> Godspeed! Holy shit! <laughs> Later! <laughs> oh my god! 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 Bro, this became so complicated. Was that Isoka? Oh my god. Oh no, bro. There is stubborn as well. <laughs> yeah, good luck catching him. He knows about the technique. Oh, she's crying. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. So she's not so bad as well. It's safe to say that she doesn't work with the mom, bro. The Milu can deal with resemble her. Is she actually catching up to him? I have a hard time believing that. Wow, he escaped that uh, smoke so quickly. Exactly, save the energy, leave something for later. He will need it, definitely. What's up, Aluka? She won't make requests, right? <laughs> bro, oh, don't say that shit, bro. That's fucking heartbreaking. Her power is terrifying, but man, who would have heart to do something like that, man? Look at his face. <laughs> man, what a kid Kilwa is, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fucking melt, bro. I can't stop smiling. <laughs> oh my god. I don't like this at all, man. Because. There, the battles are not defeating Hisoka. Things are gonna get pretty ugly, bro. Against one, but... <coughs> Magician who wishes to stay anonymous. Oh, he has card, bro. Be careful. Okay, they're definitely gonna fight. It's unavoidable. Here we go. Holy shit, Goto! <laughs> The coins, man! So the coins are literally this, like, an ability? It's like he's shooting bullets. Ooh, okay, Goto. They left. They went after Killua. Oh. With more power than bullets. Oh my god, he caught that. <gasps> I love Hisoka, but I love Goto as well, bro. Yeah, Goto, I'm sorry, man, but... Oh my god. He already attached the bungee gun. He used Gyo. Yep. The fact that Hisoka is showing this to him, man, goes to show you how confident he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we know. Elastic love bungee gun. Jesus. That's how they are gonna end the episode. Okay, okay. Already so much happened, so I guess I can I can accept this. Damn. What a cool.
crazy set of episodes, man. So many things happened. I wasn't expecting such interesting episodes after Chimera and Dark, but it is classic Togashi. He surprised me like 10 times during this, this set of episodes, man. I still can't believe what I witnessed uh, the, the stuff with. The rules, the hidden rules that Killua knows when it comes to Aluka. Aluka being such a sweetheart and asking these questions. Am I nuisance to, to you? Would you get along better if I'm not here, man? It's so sad, man. I get it. Her powers are terrifying at all, man. But maybe if she interacts and learns more, like if she like grows up, she will realize that she can't just ask those requests, maybe she will learn to control her power, like let's give her a chance, man. We can do stuff like with Tsubane, Tsubane got one request down and Tsubane might never appear in Aluka's life ever again, right? And that would mean that Aluka can't ever use her power, right? Unless like Tsubane dies or some shit. So... It's so fucked up, man. They have this like family chart, and they, when Ilumi said family is off limits, right? And Kilwa realized that the other family members do not see Aluka as legit Zoldip, right? He instantly realized that that was basically a threat that Ilumi will murder her, and the way Hisoka was making Ilumi angry so that. Kilua can sense his bloodlust, right? Hisoka's best uh, option would be that if Gon leaves and they all get to leave, man, and he's crazy. Hisoka is crazy. He will probably take some risks, but at the same time, it's very rare to see Hisoka like sweating and saying that something is a problem because this is a very big problem. And from Hisoka's and Ilumi's point of view, this is all very understandable right but to me as a viewer man i feel i feel very worried for for my boy goto its odds are not the best if if they even exist to be honest right because come on it's fucking hisoka man hey it looks like goto nice throwback he was using those coins when we visited the zoldic house right at their property gone gone where pick and larry were trying to guess where the coin is right and he was moving very fast so it was hard to catch it but gone was successful when he cut open his like eye that when he got that swelling that he had and he's using it as like a machine gun or whatever bro he's shooting coins literally and he soccer caught all of them he did block the cards though the fact that Hisoka is openly flexing his ability and speaking about it is telling me that he's pretty confident and who knows, maybe Goto can run away, maybe Tsubone will show up, but I think she's after Kilwa that she doesn't give a crap what Goto is doing, but yeah, it's gonna be very nasty, that's for sure, man. Okay, Tsubone and Damane are definitely fine, uh, Tsubone doesn't even rock with Ilumi, right, and me looking their mom she's respecting these rules these like inner mission rules and these levels of like <laughs> crimes what was level four instantly there wasn't level one two three because he uh threatened the mom because he disobeyed his father and because he uh, carried an object as they said because he rescued his sister, right? So they immediately assigned him level four. Level five is basically bringing him home and he cannot leave the property. That's fucked up. My boy Leorio is back. He is literally back with the bang. During your new arc, I was very disappointed that Leorio didn't know anything about Nen. Togashi 
Thank you so much. You are a fucking goat. Not only that he knows about Nen a lot right now, he has a fucking amazing ability. He has that like Janemba teleportation shit from the Dragon Ball movie, man. He's teleporting his uh, uh, punches, man, or like Kaguya from Naruto, man. That's insane. Who was it in Hunter x Hunter that he had kind of similar ability? During the Greed Island, I think that the boxer dude was like using something very similar, but Leorio seems more specific. Like we saw that like black like hole, and we saw the line going like it was very precise, right? And Jing was like, huh? He just looks at it and he took it, man. He didn't even try to, to prevent that, man. And I like how Jing said, oh, well, what is your relationship with Gon? I'm his friend. Okay, I hope you stay friends, and that's all, man. <laughs> like Jing is a smart dude, man. I do have a feeling that he's not so bad, man. But I don't know. Maybe we need some more episodes with him. But the crowd loved it lo so much, so that Leorio ranked number three in these elections, which is insane. I'm so glad that Bisky is there. Moral is there as well. Some pretty weird, like that hacker dude who lives in a digital world, the, the cutie beauty or whatever. Jig is also there, but yeah. It seems like uh, first two were that girl, Chidl, right? She seems pretty nice and she obviously hates Pariston's guts, as she stated. She's so right to him, but he, Pariston kind of seems very smart as well, and he seems like a guy who also like challenges so the way he's constantly smiling and changing suit and he's very like eccentric right he's very narcissoid but i don't know man this is all so interesting bro i'm all over the place right now we saw one basically like a freaking mummy and there is blood on the sheets he's probably constantly bleeding he's on the verge of dying and that like dark Ned is still lingering on the hunter association brought in the best like Nen exorcist she was like hell no bro i am not touching him so that goes to show you how crazy thing is that god did that even now when he reverted back it's still that terrifying man <sighs> it's so good i think i will end the video here for today thank you for watching i hope that you enjoyed if you did please consider subscribing leave a like comment all that good stuff as always check out my patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions i will be seeing you very soon with another video until then take care and have a nice day see ya guys